Hello everyone, welcome to the Kiran Academy. Today we are going to see very important topic that is package. We will be discussing many of the interview questions which are very important for this concept. Uh, these questions will be asked in an interview. You need to answer in a proper way. Let's move on to the first question. So first question is there on the screen. The question is, what is a package in Java and how does it contribute to code, to code organization? I mean to say, let's say, let's say you know the package. What this question is saying, if you know the package concept, how it is contributing in an industry for code organization, uh, means you need to organize code properly. So let me explain you first this question. As this is the first question, I will be explaining that question in detail, which will solve other questions. So what does package means? Let's say very simple, you have a lot of files, a lot of Java files. And if you keep all these files in one folder, tomorrow, if you want some file to be removed or accessed, then it is very difficult. Let's say this is a loan project and this is related to home loan, this is personal loan, this is car loan, this is X loan, this is Y, Z. If you want to deal with home loan, then it is very difficult to find this file over here. Therefore, package comes into picture. What happens? Package means this is home loan package. This is personal loan package. Package means folder. So create different, different folders. So whenever you create different, different folders, let's say this is related to home loan. This is related to personal loan. This is related to car loan. This is related to personal or business loan. Then it will be very easy to retrieve the files, to call the files. So this is what the concept. You need to explain in this way. Package is a concept, package means folder, which will be used to organize code properly. How that will be? As we have different folders for different purpose, we can retrieve, we can access any file, anytime, very easily. Tomorrow, if you want to delete something, it's very easy to delete if you organize properly. If someone asks you real-time example, you can say, let's say in our system, a lot of songs are stored. We don't know which are old songs and which are the latest songs. But while storing, if we create two folders, one is with old songs, another is with latest song, it will be very easy to retrieve any song, anytime, very efficiently. So you need to explain this descriptive manner so that interviewer will get to know that your concepts are very clear. So let's move on to next question. Next question is, can you explain, can you explain the significance of package statement in a Java source file? Yes package statement should be written in like this package com dot the kiran academy dot customer so this is what the package statement which we need to write at the top of the any class file any source code it's very simple next question is how do you import a specific class from another package in Java? It's very simple. We need to use import statement. Import statement should be having file name. Let me show you that also. Import com.jbk.homeload.penalty. So here in this case, it's very simple. Remember, this is import statement. This is a root folder. This is a, at last we will have a, at last we'll have a file name. This is a subfolder of com. This is subfolder of jbk. So folder structure will be like this. Com will be here. Then jbk will be here. Then home loan will be here. And then penalty file will be here. So this folder has this folder. This folder has this folder. So this is a com. This is jbk. And this is home loan. Like that structure industry is adopting. Com means commercial, JBK is a Java by Kiran or the Kiran Academy that is a company name, home loan is a project name and then we can have different module names also and then we can have these files. So it's very simple guys. So let's move on to next question. Next question is discuss the difference between the import statement and the package statement. It's very simple. Package means where you are. Import means to whom you want to use. Import statement can be many, but package statement should be only one as one file can stay in only one folder. Import statement means 
multiple files you can import. Let's move on to next question. Explain the purpose of jar command in Java and how it relates to package. See, you create multiple packages. You create multiple packages. One root folder will be there and there are multiple packages like this. Now, this is one project. Now, you want to use another project here. Like that, many files are there. Now, this project want to use this project. So, how to do that? We need to create jar file of this project and we need to import that in this project. It's very simple. Therefore, therefore, to use one project into another project, we need to go for jar concept. That is a jar command. I'll be showing that you in uh, one of the uh, another video how that will be used next. How does Java handle naming conflict between the classes in different packages? It's very simple again, guys. Let's say there is one package. This is another package. Here also we have a class. Here also we have a class. This is com dot hi. This is com dot hello. Now here it's B class, which is under com dot good morning something. Just imagine, guys. So I have B class. I have A class. I have again A class. But try to understand. This is this is under hi. This is under hello. So if you want to use these two classes in B class, then we need to use like this com dot hi dot a. Import statement will not work in this case. A equal to new com dot hi dot a. So this is one of the interesting question interviewer might ask you because if you write import statement, then naming ambiguity will be happening. If you want to use this, you need to write like this com dot com dot hello dot a a1 equal to new com dot hello dot a. So these are the ways to resolve the conflicts. Coming to next question. Can you provide an example of using Java naming convention for packages and why are they important? Yes, there is some standard, the standard which I already told, but in short, I will tell you again. So firstly, we'll write com or maybe law or maybe educational website or something or org if it is an open source. Then com means commercial. Then we mostly write company name. So here, the Kiran Academy. Then we write project name, home loan. Then we write module name. So this is home loan project. Then we write module name, penalty maybe. Then we write sub module name. And then we write class file name. So this is industry standard. These two things, if you write, people will get to know whether it's a commercial project, whether this is developed by the Kiran Academy, and this is a project. And this is a project which is related to home loan. Let's, let's move on to next question. What is package in Java and how does it contribute to code to the organization? I already told you this in previous question. This question is repeated, I think. So I'll skip this question. Describe a situation where using packages in Java significantly improve the organization and readability of your code. I already told you in previous questions this thing. How it has been uh, organized? We want to remove something. It's easy to remove. We want to access something. It's very easy to um, access. It's very easy to locate something. So this was the last question, guys. Now let's move on to next video where we'll be discussing more and more interview questions. I hope you are understanding all the interview questions I am covering right from the first session to the uh, right from the first session to this session. I hope you will be going through every question very thoroughly. This series is for experienced as well as freshers. To access more and more videos, to access more and more courses, log on to the Kiran Academy and get any course uh, which is listed there. Thank you.